you can get soybeans down to like 12 percent or or where they're they're below what they need to be and you're then wasting money and you throw some water back into them well so like a couple of weeks ago it's been so hot and dry we were selling beans that got down to seven eight percent the afternoon in the mornings they might be 15 percent we're just constantly putting them in the bins we actually set our system to rehydrate and we'll bring it up it doesn't do it overnight it takes it it takes time but it will rehydrate those beans and get them more uniform Soybeans and wheat, you can rehydrate, and you can you can gain two or three percent on beans. And even though beans are ten bucks, you can gain two or three percent. That adds a adds to that bottom line pretty easy. It more pays for the electricity that you burn for a year when you rehydrate them. So it's a it's been a big player, and that was unheard of years ago. People used to always want to not put moisture in the bin, no matter what the moisture was. And now it's just the opposite. I don't think it was as big a deal deal several years ago because nowadays. I mean, a matter of selling beans, these beans can go from 15% to what, 9, 10% in just a few days. It didn't seem to always be that way, but nowadays the temperatures we're fighting and the, the weather seasons we're having, it's, it's always hard to stay on top of. And I think this is just another aspect that lets us be a lot more efficient throughout the year and, and really just take it out of our hands because we have enough stuff going on to be worried about if we should be rehydrating or, or, or not rehydrating.